What are the best scheduling apps for Shopify? We're going to talk about that in this video because I have to download a scheduling app for a client that does dress fittings. So we're going to go through a few apps and talk about their pricing and look through their demo stores. Now, this is a good option for you if you want to make any product an event and schedule that into your calendar or have a service that people pay for before they book. Now, if you are a floral or insurance store or like that and you need people to book an appointment with you, this is going to be a perfect video for you to decide which app to use. All right, we're going to go through a couple. We're going to go, well, three. Appointment booking calendar. I like that because I like like cows and cats and stuff. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Meetly appointment booking. And then we're also going to be talking about appointment booking book easy. So these are the top three that I think are going to be the most useful for people who are trying to book services and rentals and that kind of thing, as opposed to people who are looking to um, schedule pickups. Okay, first let's talk about pricing for appointment booking calendar. So there is a free plan. You get unlimited booking services, appointments, and email notifications. I think that this is a pretty solid um, free plan. And then you can see that you have to move up to get no branding. So it really depends on how you feel about your brand's aesthetic um, if you want this to be on here. But if you upgrade, you also get cancel and reschedule. So let's take a look at the um, demo store. So you have a few options here. You can book without checkout or you can do like multi-day booking uh, demo. So Let's go ahead and do free service because for this particular client, it is a service that's included in the dress rental. So basically you can just book, um, pops up like this. So you can decide what staff member you want to book with. Um, you can customize these fields. So I'm obviously in mountain time and then you can um, show how many slots are left. Okay, so 35 slots and then you can fill in all of your information and um, then you can add your products here. So like, let's say somebody's interested in a particular dress, then they can just add them here um, and then you can press confirm. Okay, so this is the first app. It's pretty simple looks good. Um, and if you are a hairdresser, you can book haircuts. You can decide on the day and time that you're available. So this is really good for people who do services, but also sell products. All right, next up, let's talk about Meetly appointment booking. So the thing about this one is that it is free. Um, they're going to be introducing some paid plans. So if you are watching this and it's still free, I would say you should probably try it out. So these are the features. Obviously, these always look better on the website than they do in real life. But we are going to check out the demo store. But you can see that um, it does have all of the things that you would need. Go to the demo store. So here you see that you can book a class. So let's um, go ahead and click that. So you have the products here, which are for bookings. Okay, so you can see here we're in yin yoga classes. Let's check off bird watchers yin and then you can schedule a time. So this one is definitely more aesthetically pleasing than the other one. The other one is very utilitarian, but I mean, it depends on, on what you're looking for, right? This actually looks really good. So let's click book now and then you see that it has the time and then you can go ahead and you can confirm your booking. So you can um, have your pricing here. So let's say you're a balloon artist or something and you have an, a balloon arrangement that you, you're supposed to give to somebody during their birthday or their wedding or something, then you can always add these um, as as products that people can check out with. So I would say like this one is, it's really nice and it's cute and it will add to the aesthetic of your website. Now we have appointment booking, book easy. Let's go ahead and talk about the pricing here. So this one is uh, free and um, you can just install it on your Shopify store. Again, this is kind of what their website looks like. You can have advanced slot settings. So um, you can make uh, different days and times and times during the day that you are uh, available. You don't have to charge anybody for um, appointments. So there are quite a lot of features in here. Um, and they do actually have a really good user guide. So that's something that I find important with a lot of apps, um, making sure that they have like a really good user manual. So let's go ahead and check the demo store. All right, so let's go to products. Go ahead and click 
doctor's appointment. So this one is obviously you'd have to pay for it first. So you book your time, right? And then, um, so Wednesday, August 14th, and then you go ahead and you add it to your cart. So this is where you have to pay for it. And then you can see that the date is down here. Let's go back. So, I mean, this is still pretty. Um, I like it. I think it looks good. Let's go back to products and we'll do the free booking. So I like down here that it says how long your appointment is reserved until. So this is really important if you're actually super busy. So let's book our time for this free booking. And again, you can see that you have like staff options here. You can see that it has step one of three. So there are some advanced features. Um, this is quite a good um, option. Okay, so let's click next. So you can see here that this is a free booking, booking details, customer, blah, blah, blah. And then you press confirm. So I actually really like this one in that people don't have to like create an account, even if it's zero dollars. So it depends on what you want for your customer experience. So yeah, you want to be able to collect email addresses and, and phone numbers and stuff like that. But um, in your Shopify backend, but it's not quite necessary. I'll make sure to link all three of these options in the video description, but I really do like Meaty. So, um, I mean, if you want to try that one out, go ahead, but they're all really good. So just let me know in the comments which one worked the best for you.